Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to sketch the graph of inverse function, specifically a linear function. Let's take this first example right here. Sketch the function f of x is equal to 4 over 3x plus 2 and sketch its inverse on the same set of axes. There are steps that we need to follow in order that we can sketch the inverse of this. The first step is to sketch the graph of the given function. So I'm just going to write the uh, first step right here. I'm going to label it S1. So from this equation or from this function that we have here, we can see that our slope M is 4 over 3. Again, this is in y equals mx plus b form. And our b then is 2. Now, we remember that the m represents the slope. And the slope is represented by a fraction. This fraction will tell us where to go from the y-intercept. So if the uh, numerator is positive, then we go up. If the numerator is negative, we go down. If the denominator is positive, we go right. If the denominator is negative, we go left. So in this case right here, since our numerator is positive, so then we go up. And since we have a positive 3, then we go to the right. So that's the first step. So then we can go ahead and graph this function over here. So I'm going, I'm going to use the uh, blue color for this. So first we start with the B2. So that would be the first dot. And then from here we go up 4, 3, right. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, right, 3. 1, 2, 3. So this is the second dot. And then we do the same thing. Up 4, right, 3. Now we do the opposite on the other side. So then we can go ahead and say 4 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, and left 3, 1, 2, 3. Again, 4 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, left 3, 1, 2, 3. So then we can go ahead and sketch the um, line. So we can go ahead and label this as our f of x. So this is our function. Now again, our task is to sketch its inverse on the same set of axes. So this is our f of x. Now we're supposed to determine the f negative 1 of x or the graph of its inverse. Now we're ready to move on to the second step. So I'm just going to label this as s2. From the graph, create a table. So we're going to create a table of values here. So I'm just going to um, create a table uh, down here. Okay, so the one that we put into the table would be these dots. So what are the coordinates for these dots? So we start with this. So this would be um, 0, 2. So I'm just going to write 0, 2 for this. And this one right here is 3, 6. So I will write 3, 6. So that is the second step. Now we're ready to move on to the third step. So I'm just going to label this as S3. The third step is to create a table of values for the inverse function by switching the input or the x and the output or the y values from the table in step 2. So pretty much we create the same table, but this time around we switch the values of x and y. So then we can go ahead and create the table. Okay, so what are we going to do now is we are going to switch their values. So the x will become the y and then the y will become the x. So this would come out. Okay, so what I did was I switched this two around. So as you can see, they have been switched. So they get switched. So each one gets switched. So the X will become the Y and then the Y will become the X. So pretty much we switch this around. And part of this step is to sketch the graph. So once we have this uh, table already, we're ready to sketch the graph. So we're going to start with um, 2 and 0. So that would be on 2 and um, 0. It's going to be right here. And then we have 6 and 3, so we go 6, then we go up to 3, so it's going to be right here. Yep. 
So then we can go ahead and connect these um, dots together and this will be um, our graph or this will be the graph of its inverse. So then we can go ahead and label this as our f negative one of x. So the red one is the inverse, the blue one is the function. Now I would like you to notice this. This blue and red graph are actually symmetric with respect to the line y equals x, which means that if I draw a line of symmetry on y equals x, So if we are going to fold this graph across the line of symmetry y is equal to x, they're going to match up. So I will use a wax paper to better see this. I actually created the lines using the wax paper. Now remember this, this two will match up if we fold it on the uh, uh, y is equal to x lines. As you can see here, the blue and the red line are a match. So that means that these two are inverse to each other. So that's, uh, that's the graphical property of an inverse. They are going to match up when we, we fold it across the line y is equal to x. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to sketch the graph of the given function. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write the first step right here, S1. So looking at this uh, uh, function right here, and then again, we remember that it, this M represents the slope. And so from here, we can go ahead and say that since we say negative one over three, so the top is negative, so we were supposed to go down. And then since this is a positive three, then we go to the right. So then we can go ahead and sketch the uh, graph of this function right here. So we start on negative two, that's the first dot, then we go down one, right three. So down one, right three, one, two, three, So this is the um, graph of this function right here. So we can go ahead and label this as our f of x and we are ready to move on to the second step. So I'm just going to label the ste second step right here s2 from the graph create a table. So we're going to create a table using these dots right here. So we're gonna start here, that would be negative six and zero. So negative six, zero. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is to move on to the third step. The third step is to create the table of values for the inverse function by switching the input x and the output y values from the table in step two. So pretty much we are going to flip this around. Okay. So what I did was I flipped it around. So these values were switched around on the other side. This is the table of values for f of x or for the original function. And this is the table of values for the inverse f negative one of x. So then we are ready to sketch this dot right here. So we start with zero and negative six.
Okay, so we're ready to connect these dots together. So this graph right here can be labeled as f negative 1 of x or this is the inverse um, uh, function and this is the given function right here. Again, as you can see here, if we drop a line on um, y is equal to x, if we drop a line right here, we can see that these two graphs are actually symmetric to each other. Symmetric means if we are going to fold it, if we're going to fold this graph, these two are gonna match up. So this part is gonna match up on this side and this line will match up on the other side right here. So then we can go ahead and say that these two are inverse to each other. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!